Hi everyone, this is my video assignment for week 6. We've arrived in the end of the course. It's been a long way, at least for me. Um, and in this video I'm going to talk about synthesis. And synthesis basically can break down two five modules. This is also why it's called modular synthesis. Um, we have the oscillator, and basically the oscillator, or VCO, voltage control oscillator, is what creates the sound. It's a bright, buzzy, aggressive sound. It's based on a square wave and a sawtooth waveform, basically just uh, geometric waveforms. Yeah, and then we have the filter, the VCF voltage control filter. Um, its general design is to remove the unwanted frequencies, and a low-pass filter is actually the most important kind of filter because it casts the highs and let the lows come through. And when the sound goes out of the oscillator, it's so bright, and the filter is sort of making it a more real-world sound. Then we have the amplifier, or VCA voltage control amplifier. Uh, basically, it controls the volume of the sound over time. It controls how it develops over time. It's really important because a synthesizer is not static. It's not a static thing. A synthesizer filter and synthesizer amplifier are both meant to move over time very quickly. And that developing, that change over time, that is called modulation. Then we have you as a user, like you can also control things, right? But then we also have devices that give instructions to the synthesizer to do things itself. And this is the LFO and the envelope. The LFO, or low frequency oscillator, is a sort of, it's a kind of algorithmic modulator. Uh, it's a device that creates cyclic variations in any other parameter. The LFO controls, for example, a pitch of oscillator, the pitch of the oscillator. Um, and that way we can get a vibrato, which is a um, change in, in, in pitch, like we, the singers. Um, an, an envelope is also another kind of algorithmic modulator that creates kind of a shape that runs every time a key is pressed. Um, most of the times it controls the main amplifier and makes that way it makes the amplitude change over time. It gives it a percussive shape or a sustaining shape depending on what we want. Uh, both the LFOs and the envelope can control many things. They can control filters, amplifiers, they can control um, pitch and LFOs can control other LFOs. You know, it all builds up in the end. We have the result. So, um, yeah, that was the end of my video. I know it's been brief, but um, it's quite a vast subject and I had only five minutes. Um, I, I hope at least it was clear the few things I said. Um, I wanted to say that for me, it's been um, a great experience doing this course because I sort of started from zero. Okay, maybe not from zero, but from plus two, so it was almost zero. I think it's a great course for people that know anything or almost anything about the subject, which was music production. And I've been feeling myself getting a lot more independent, a lot more confident with recording, especially just recording, especially just the post production, the pre production, and the production stages of music production. Um, which is something I really wanted. Um, so what I, I wish you to have all the best results from the course. Um, and I just want to tell you that, you know, we're always complaining about music, how music is, and why music is just so bad now, you know, it's not good, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's up to us to make music better, to, to improve, to give good stuff to the music industry. So we suggest to each and every one of you just do your thing with honesty and um, be sincere and um, just do what you do with passion and good things are gonna come up so next time you writing a song just say I'm gonna write a beautiful song and I think that's what music industry today just lacks <laughs> so that's it uh, thanks very much for watching my videos and thanks for your time and please feel free to subscribe um, to my channel or, or comment, any feedback is welcome. So, thanks a lot.